satisfies my desires according to his word and all my needs he supplies my... all right i am so glad to be back with you again i thank god for his allowing me to still be alive not under the plague of the coronavid virus because that's not what he has for me and if you believe him that's not what he has for you all you've got to do is stretch out on what he said in his word now he brought the plague before so this coronavirus is nothing new to anybody except those who are non-believers I have with me today Elder Randall Smith. He is a recording artist, and I played one of his songs before. But I'm telling you, this man could very easily testify to how good God is. My saxophone player, if he was here, he'd be able to tell you just how good God is. Things that people say would not ever happen. These men can testify that because God is their God, it has happened. And they are still here. They are living proof that God will and is taking care of them. God is in control. Now, Elder Randall Smith, yes, what has God been doing for you lately? Uh, let me start by saying, even through this time, God has showed himself mighty and true and putting such an awesome lady, awesome woman of God in my, my brothers and my mom's and dad's life since I was a child. Madam LaCour, you are just, all I can say is wow. It's, oh, it's all because of the man in my life, God. And the reason why I know it is because I'm his, and he is mine. And this first song is living proof of it, I'm telling you. The man that did the music on it is now deceased, and I can still do this song because he gave it to me, mm. okay? I'm telling you, this song is blessed assurance. I can talk about him all day for this. Wow, that's a testimony. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my side. Angels descending, bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all day long. This is my story, this is my, 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 my song, praising my Savior all day long. Go, Bob. <coughs> That's my saxophone player. He lets God be in control of him and his horn. Play it. There 
it go. You wouldn't believe it when you see it. Anybody who comes along, hmm. God is all that I need. Yes, ma'am. I don't need to have a lot of money. I don't need to have a lot of friends. <clears throat> I don't need to have a top health plan. Why? Because I'm not going to need a hospital and a doctor, hmm. okay? Because God made me. The way I am. He knows all about me. And that's all that's necessary. Yeah. Now, you tell me a little bit of something about what God can do. Because you know he did it for you. Because you know he's all you needed. I mean, when the, the cards or the odds were stacked against you, what did he do? He even allowed me to, he gave me <coughs> an opportunity to, I was in the hospital, and I didn't know why. And the doctor came and said, sir, you have, your gallbladder has went bad, it's rotten. And we either going to have to take it out, or we're going to have to call your family. And I said, really? And all, all I remember saying was, God, where are you now? And I heard him say, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. He That's said, right. I've never left you. He said, I'm making you for the next journey that I'm taking you on. I said, okay, here we go. So then <laughs> That's the, right. the, my mom, God bless her, she's in Ohio. She said, I'm praying <clears throat> for you, boy. She said, because you got to come out of this. Well, at the end of the day, to make a long story short, God gave me three songs as I was in the hospital. All right. And uh, we began writing them. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> we also, um, they took it out. And then come to find out, the Lord revealed something to me that there's another situation. He said, but I'm going to take care of that. And uh, I said, Lord, you are <clears throat> everything. You're even the doctor, you're the lawyer, you all that. So he said, now you're going to really have to depend on me. Because you see your friends are no longer around you. Everybody you can't depend on, but you can depend on me. Mm -hmm. And so there we are. I'm serious. And this is the, the song he was talking about. This is it. You're my everything. I'm telling you. He can be, he will be, if you let him. This is him on here. God is no shorter than his word. He said it. He will be it. Just let him. Sister, 
you are. That's what he does. And I'm telling you, there is no other one. And any time you can't make it through mm -hmm. a bad situation, it's not because he's gone. It's because you've moved from where you were supposed to be. Yes, that's true. And all you got to do is move back to where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And that's where he is. All you got to do is move to where he is. This other song tells you all about it. All right? All right. That's all you need is him. Your prayer life got to be where he can reach you. Oh, yeah. Nothing else. If the sun isn't shining where you are, you need to move. If the sun isn't shining where you are, you need to move. If there's darkness all around, if God's grace does not abound, if no light or hope can be found, you need to move. You need to move in prayer. You need to move. You need to move with fasting. You need to move. You need to move to a higher plane. You need to move in Jesus' name. He'll be your guiding light. You need to move. Sorry, I'm hoarse. He will give you victory. He will set you free. Just give him control. I promise you he'll Make you home, he'll be your everything. All you gotta do is let him reign. Change your dwelling place. Turn and seek his face. Let Jesus take up residence. Forget about who's president. Cause if the sun isn't shining where you are, you need to move. Jesus is the sun. He'll give you victory. He will set you free. Just give him control. I promise you he'll make you whole. He'll be a Everything, all you've got to do is let him reign. Change your 
dwelling place. Turn and seek his face. Let Jesus take up residence and forget about who's president. Cause if the sun isn't shining where you are, you need to move. You need to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you need to move. If the sun isn't shining where you are, you need to move, move. You need to change your dwelling place. Turn and seek God's face. Cause if the sun isn't shining where you are, I said if Jesus isn't shining where you are, if the sun isn't shining where you are, you need to move. You need to move, 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 move. I'm telling you, that's all you got to do. Now, if you haven't heard anything today to reaffirm that God is in control, mm. by all means, mm. try and find a church door open so that you can hear somebody else tell you God is in control. If the church doors aren't open, Go online and find somebody to tell you that God is in control. He sees and knows everything that's going on. And it's all because of what he wants from us. He wants us to realize that he is the I am. He can be whatever we want him to be. He will be whatever we call him, mm -hmm. whenever we call him. The way maker, the healer, the provider, he is all of that and more. As long as we recognize and acknowledge him for what he is, that's all he's looking for. He wants the praise. He wants you to remember where you are why you are here, where you came from, how you got here. And it's all because of him. Not because of a president or a senator or your mother or your daddy or your education. No, it's all because of him. The chances you have had in life to not even be alive is only because he kept you. I heard this group singing this song, God Kept Me. Hmm. They are definitely telling you what it is, just like it is. God kept me. I mean, even when they felt like letting go, he kept them. That's it. Why? Because he wanted you mm -hmm. alive and well and able to tell somebody else what he can do so they can catch hold to the faith that you have oh, and be able to go on from there. Mm -hmm. They can live actually knowing that there is somebody in control mm -hmm. of everything that's going mm -hmm. on. The sun, the stars, the moon, mm -hmm. the president, the uh, House of Representatives, the Senate, everybody is in his hands. Mm -hmm. Because this whole world belongs to him. He could go ahead and fix it all. But he said, if my people, That's what he said. which are called by my name, mm -hmm. and he calls us all his children, mm -hmm. if we are called by his name, which we should be if we live for it, would humble themselves mm -hmm. and pray, mm -hmm. seek his face, seek it. Turn from your wicked ways. Mm -hmm. Didn't he say it? Second Chronicles, he told us all about it. He said then he would heal the land. What we got going on, that's something he could snap a finger. As a matter of fact, snapping his finger would take too much energy. Mm -hmm. All he'd do is blink his eye. Mm -hmm. 
and it would all be gone. But that's only if we do what he says, which is to turn from our wicked ways, mm -hmm. to seek his face, to pray. We've gone so far, are we thinking it's like, hey, the president will do this, and the, the senators will do that, and the House of Representatives, and the Democrats, and the Republicans, and it's all in their hands. No, it's not. It's in God's hands. Yes, Once you start realizing that and really acknowledge who really has the world in his hands mm -hmm. and your fate in his hands, yep. that's who you talk to. That's who you call on. That's who you rely on. Mm -hmm. That's who you depend on. Mm -hmm. That's who's coming through for you. Yes, not anybody else. Presidents and vice presidents and House of Representatives, Democrats, Republicans makes no difference. Yes, God has them all. He, has them control. he could wipe them all out and you would still have to deal with what he said because he's in control. Have you thought about it? They're not more powerful than God. I'll be looking for you next month. And actually, as long as you do what he says, you'll be around next month. Mm -hmm. You won't have to worry about the virus or anything else for that matter, okay? I am expecting to have a nice crowd and audience. In the meantime, go online, get the Django app, and listen to one of my songs. It's called, Lord, I Thank You. And they're playing it everywhere. And I'm right here in Michigan. They're playing it in California, Florida, Georgia, Texas, West Virginia, New York. But you listen to it on Django Radio, okay? Hmm. I look forward to you looking at me next month.
satisfies my desires according to his word and all my needs he supplies my... what's up everybody this is your girl Vicky Winans and you're watching Bell Global Network Hi everybody, I'm telling you everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine AG and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times. And you are watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy, D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Grace and Peace family, this is Bishop Marvin Sapp, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. 